Hello and welcome to Magsy's Fun Time. This is Magsy and we are back here on Warframes. Uh, last episode we did the boss battle on Cyrus. Cyrus? How do you pronounce that? <laughs> and we also did the hijack mission on um, Luda. Uh, the last thing we have to do for this junction is survive 10 minutes or more uh, at Draco, which is up here. To do that, we're going to go through the sabotage mission, which shouldn't take that long at all. And then we're going to do the Draco mission. And then I'm going to do the junction. We should end it on Jupiter today. Fingers crossed. <laughs> if everything works out right. Uh, let's go ahead and invite my son to the group. There we go. And wait a minute, don't 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 select that. How's my setup? We're still against Corpus, right? We're not against Corpus, but that's all the thing I have is what I could do. I should be running radiation, right? I don't have toxic right now, so that's the only two options I have is magnetic or radiation. I just realized that I haven't been hitting the control button, so no one could hear what I just said. <laughs> he said that, that the low level trash isn't going to be affected one way or another by radiation, but they do, in fact, take a 25% increased damage from radiation, according to Online Wiki. But this is Grenier missions, right? Uh, yeah, and all the, all the Grenier, other than like heavy gunners, bombards, things like that, take extra damage from radiation. Uh, strike. I can't do anything there. All right, what's the uh, daily? Have you looked at it? It's that time again, Dream. Uh, mine says kill 10 enemies with finishers. Yeah. Hack consoles. I got, I got to find three more mods, too. Alright. Let's get this over with. Go ahead. Your target is the system mainframe. Deliver the payload. I got payload. the part. My yeah. intel suggests there are rich enemy Speed. supply caches in the area, but I am unable to pinpoint their exact location. Search them out if you are willing to shoulder the added risk. Oh man, come on. Move out the way. Oh, it's this one. I Your hate this one. This location's computer system. Find and access the terminals. What did you do? There we go. We need to destroy the reactor. The reactor will have tight security. Watch out for I got the alarm. Controls. Get out of here. Where's that? This way. Oh, it's down again. Do 
Why? You're not pressing the button. I got knocked into a pit. Target found. Destroy. I got it. He usually gets here before I do. <laughs> We've done this mission a couple of times. For various reasons. Oh. Shoot. Did I just see a black screen? I started to say, are you getting attacked? Target destroyed. Proceed to the extraction flight. We have exit if you need to get out here. Getting slow in your old age. <laughs> that this particular sabotage mission takes a little bit longer than the rest of them because the the part that you need to get to is like super high up, and not every Warframe and not every actual player can jump that high and get there. So, kind of. There, there's another way up there, but the easiest way is just to climb up the wall and then jump across. For for me, anyway. So. All right, this one is survival. Do you need to switch frames? The one thing I've noticed by playing through with Vault instead of one of the three starter frames is you recognize how different your play style is depending on which Warframe you use to go through the game with. Yeah, yeah, that's true. That's so true. Like my first go around, I went with Vault. And then I got Mag and I started playing her, and her her play style is drastically different from oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Volt. Jesus, <laughs> that's the most the Warframe ability spammer ever. I wouldn't say that. And then I got Excalibur Umbra, and the play style completely changed again. Cause... I'll say Vault enables Vault's an enabler. Those who don't know how to actually play Vault, like, effectively, will just spam their abilities. It's more effective to, to, to use them the right way, though, rather than spamming. Most people assume Vault's a CC frame, so they just spam a CC type ability, like his throw lightning in his 4. But, for some reason, if you stun an enemy with lightning, and then while they're still in that stun animation, you stun them again, it doesn't reset the stun animation. It just continues on its normal course. I know. It's just... People don't understand how it works. <laughs> the, the, one, the ones that you're talking about is the ones that die quick on Vol. All right, let's go. Now this will be a 10 minute mission, guys, so hang in there. <laughs> Ready when you are. I keep forgetting that I'm not host anymore. See, when I play, I play on my computer, which isn't right now capable of actually recording stuff on 
I need to get some memory for that to be able to do that. And uh, so I play on my computer, and he plays on the one I'm playing. When I play on to record on, so he usually hosts because this one it's got more memory, so Your it can handle the job of hosting better than mine. If that makes sense. Make now, your presence known. this is my favorite room on this map, <laughs> tile set. This is one of the best rooms on this tile set for survival missions if you're on Vault. Because <laughs> you, can, you can literally stand right here and put your shield up, catty-cornered in this corner right here, and you can just stand there and, and shoot things as they come around. Or if you have, like, Amprax, which is one of my favorite uh, weapons to use on survival missions. Especially with Vault. Um, he totally... He totally can just stand there all day. <laughs> if you have, like, caster frames, this is probably the best room, but if you have, like, a melee-based frame, like Valkyr or Rhino, it's that middle room with all the vents in it. See, I don't subscribe to that, because I just want to make it through the mission time to mount. I don't care how many resources I get out of the mission. Like, it, that that room is specifically designed to get the most enemies to you as soon as possible. And is that that's to reject it, that's fine. But the mission itself is to actually get to a specific time period. 5, 10, 15 minutes. So... Alright, we ready? Go ahead. But, I... And in, in line with that, the more enemies that spawn, the more chances there are to drop air, so you don't have to go around running around find, trying to find air. So. They have just shut down all systems. I'm sending life support capsules your way. So I guess the, our main I objective will be to, to be just run around and kill stuff. Activating Let's go ahead and do my shield up. So don't really talk about strategies and survival missions From but one of the main strategies big things grow dreams i believe in you all hey guys have some fire um one of the main strategies is actually not to get um your your drops if, if you look in the upper left hand corner there under survival there's little rectangles at the bottom that indicates how many uh airdrops there are it looks like this right here you guys see me run survival missions. Um, one of the main strategies is to leave all of those it's as much as you can until you get a stack of eight, which is the max, I believe. Prepare for life support. Or whatever. Whatever the max is, you want to leave it until you get to the max, where the last spot on the map is the one that spawns in. And then, basically... You wait till 50% and then you grab that one and then it will always spawn right back in that spot. So, that's how people do that. But at the beginning you just get so many uh, airdrops from the mobs themselves, canisters, that it really doesn't matter. Let's do some more flames. Hello guys. That should help. Also, I don't know if you know this. I found out about it a few days ago. Uh, Valkyr's Warcry? It gives armor. Yes. Yes, I knew that. I don't like Valkyr. And it... it I don't like... Okay, so... It goes back to my D&D days. I've never liked playing classes that have like a rage type ability and Valkyr just screams like a barbarian type frame if that makes sense it probably doesn't get ready for a capsule well I mean according to the story for her she was tortured by Alad V for a good while so that probably has something to do with it most people don't even know the story <laughs> Which is weird, because when Valkyr Prime came out, everyone was complaining, because it went against the lore. 
Unless you play Warframes, I'm gonna let you. Yeah. <laughs> Unless you play Warframes, and you go online and you read the wikis and stuff, you, you usually don't know anything about the lore, other than other than the little bits that you get from the missions. It has gotten better. It has gotten better than it was when it first came out. And I never played it when it first came out. I'm just going off a of reference off of what other YouTubers have said about it. But to really get into lore, you have to go online and look up the lore. Because they don't, they don't make it overly clear. Nope. Ow. Activate. Can't believe it did that. I think they'd uh, bring in more players if they did a whole like revamp of it and gave the original cutscenes that were here when the game first came out cutscenes like they did for the new quest. Like, uh, but we want to be careful when we reference stuff because we don't want to give anything away spoiler wise. People that's watching the series but don't play the game isn't going to know certain details of events. <laughs> But I know what he's talking about. Another life support oh, there's a dev stream coming up soon. I already got a uh, reference for dev stream. This morning they had an uh, Xbox stream or something? Are they doing two in one day? Uh, I heard they do an Xbox One at one sometimes, but I haven't really been keeping up with all their streams recently because I got sick, remember? Um, no, this one was at like 10 something this morning. Extraction is available. If you need it. So, but it was Xbox, I remember. What are you hiding for, dude? I don't know, two metal men that are basically urban legends walk onto your ship and start messing up half your friends. It's a pretty good reason to hide. Where's that little grabber? Run. Life support on the way. There you go. Oh, that was you. I swear I saw one of those little grabber guys. Can't find him now. Talking about those guys that they like throw their their weapon at you and it takes your weapons? No, it's the melee guys. They throw that little uh, lasso thing at you, like a... Uh, scorpions? Yeah, like little scorpion pool thing. And he was on that stair over there, but I ain't seen him. Oh, he must have died or something. How are we doing? Six minutes. You know, sometimes I kind of feel bad for the Grenier. Not me, they're only clones. I would have to say, because I love Star Wars so much, and the lore in Star Wars, you can kind of see some of uh, Star Wars aspects in Warframe. Story wise. Life support on the way. Look, Mr. Dog. You gonna get that uh on your main account and you that fat frame that's coming up? I don't know, it depends on how hard he is to get. I don't like the whole eating eating people aspect of it Additional depends on how that aspect hard. works or whether I actually use him or just level him for points. I was about to say, wasn't Kirby one of your mains on uh, Super Smash Bros? What's your problem now, here? Now, now, we're not going to talk about Kirby because Kirby doesn't eat people. He swallows them 
but he doesn't eat them. I'm just saying his mechanics will determine whether I use him or not. Ooh, my shield came up. Hello guys. What are you doing? Nope. You can't knock me down. <laughs> what about the fast frame that's coming out? I'm torn on that one. Because I have vault. I mean, just go speed build on vault. Although, Prepare for life support. they are supposed to be... He is supposed to be faster. Again, I think it'll, determine, it'll be determined by the mechanics. Which they haven't really talked too much about. What? Apparently, the fast frame and vault are supposed to be, like, real good buddies or something? I don't know. So that's what they're trying to make the lore out to be. Flames for everybody. Yeah, we should be fine here. Uh, we could probably go ahead and head to the exit. As much as I would love to stay longer in this mission. Uh, we're getting at 20 minutes, so I'm gonna head that way. Oh, I totally messed that up. I forgot I had Berserker on support. We will all share in this bounty. So the whole time that my sword's been swinging, I thought I had Warcry active. This one's this way. Also, I think the uh, the max capsules you can have is reduced when you're running so when you're on solo mode. Because the max I've ever been ever been able to get on solo mode. I know, like I stayed in the mission for 30 minutes, so it was like seven. It, it it's not that. Um, oh, you're talking about, like, the actual air that gets dropped in in the world. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah Not the, by the, the enemies. Capsules. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know the mechanics on that. I know there's increased drop rates when you're in group, so you'll get more capsule drops from enemies when you're in a group. But... We didn't do too bad. Do too bad. What do we get? A credit cash, and I'm guessing a mod, because I got a bunch of alloy, which I don't need, because I have millions of it already, and three broken cells. Well, I need all the resources I can get. Okay, so I don't think he can actually come into the next mission with me. It's, what is it? It's the Jupiter Junction. Yeah, it's single power. So. Nah. I'll add him back before I end the episode off so he can say bye. Let's walk here. Is it? I fought Valkyrie before. Now, I have died a bunch to Valkyrie also, so this is my usual method. the flames. <laughs> now, I have other moves I can use on here, so. Oh, shoot. Nope. 
<laughs> it's not happening, dude. Let's get my shield back up. Come on, dude. Oh, gotta waste my energy. That's bad. Nope. Reload. She's doing the same thing I'm doing. Let's do some of this. I mean, you can. I have to put flames around her. I'm not engaging her. Yeah. They surround them with flames, and then you back away. Oh, shoot. Nope, oh, need energy. No, I'm not that stupid. I know what happens in that circle. If you stay in it, but you keep just a little bit out of her reach, when she goes out, she'll take damage. Oh, she moved. Oh, I am out. That's not good. This is the worst possible <laughs> weapon to use in this battle. Oh, hello. Get out of there! Get out of there! <laughs> this is taking forever! God, I hate Valkyrie. Nope.
really need a splash weapon for her. This is the last of my bullets. <laughs> I don't care if she damages me. Besides, she hit my shields. No, that's from earlier. She can't get past my shields, dude. The shields absorb everything. Now I'm going to have to save up. Get out of here! Oh, shoot! <laughs> I don't know if I can do this one. <laughs> I might have to go get me a better weapon. What? It's based on the level you are when you get here. What's the timer at? It's at 30 minutes. I don't know if I can do this right now. We'll try it again. We'll be a little bit more. Yeah, there. Stop swinging that stupid slow thing. <laughs> really? Nope. Get out of there. Guess it is. I might have to be a little bit more sparingly on my energy. Her ability lasted longer the last time I fought her. The little circle thing. Yeah. They must have changed that. Yes. Point hitting her there. Dang. Oh, shoot. Nope. Nope. 
that, we don't know about that yet, James. Oh, I'm dead. Yep. All right, guys. I'm going to have to figure something out, and we'll have to do this again next episode. So, mission failed. Let's go ahead and leave. Leave Junction. <laughs> oh. Basically, my weapon can't deal enough damage to her to take her out. So, uh, I either gotta switch weapons or... I can't mod Chris. <laughs> so, I gotta figure something out. That kind of sucks. Mm, we'll see. Anyway, guys, we're going to call it here. Let's go ahead and add my something back in. If you like this episode, make sure you smack that like button. If you subscribe to my channel, I'll send you notifications when I have new videos out. You guys can come check it out. See so if you like it. If you do like this episode and you want to share it with your friends, tell them what you like. There's a share tab down below. Click on the share tab. Copy the link. Post it on your Facebook, Twitter, wherever you do social media. If you have any tips, tricks, or comments, put it down in the comments down below. Don't forget to follow me on my social media pages. Don't forget to set your notification status for my channel using the notification bell. And I'll see you guys on the next episode. Press the button. Bye. <laughs> see you guys later.